Hi, Stephen Caleb with Brownells here, and today we're going to look at troubleshooting the gas system on your AR-15 because malfunctions happen and sometimes it's just in the gas system. So Caleb, what's, uh, what's a few things we can look for? Well, to start, you know, you need to determine whether or not, whether you're overgassed or undergassed. Okay. And, um, you can determine that by the actual ejection pattern itself. You know, if your ejection patterns, you know, you're three to five o'clock, that's normal, you're good. If it's throwing them out, you know, nice and a good distance in that direction. Um, if you're throwing those rounds forward, you're overgassed mm -hmm. because the round's not clearing the ejection port before the bolt comes rebounding. back forward. Yep, and it's throwing that round forward, so that's overgassed. Easy way to solve an overgassed issue is to just put an adjustable gas block. Right. You can, you know, increase the buffer weight and different things like that, uh, but you're still getting all that extra gas in your system before the buffer starts to slow everything down. So it's best just to do it with a gas block if possible. If not, sure, go with a heavier buffer. Um, now, if the round's not ejecting, um, or you know you're short cycling, different things like that, that's a good indication that you're undergassed. So whenever you're undergassed, uh, we'll start from the gas block and troubleshooting to see what the issue may be. Now, whenever you slide the gas block itself onto the gas block journal on the barrel during assembly, you wanna make sure you have a nice snug fit. If it goes on there loose before you tighten everything down, you're probably gonna be leaking gas and that's the, if not one of the issues with, the, with why you're having those malfunctions. Same thing with the gas tube. You wanna make sure the tube is a nice solid fit into the gas block. And uh, that's it for that system there. Moving back into the receiver, that gas tube plugs into the gas key. Now I've seen gas keys come loose, uh, especially when they're not properly staked on top, that's right. staking there. And if those come loose, that gas will leak between the gas key and the bolt carrier. And that'll cause the entire system to be undergassed or no gassed in some cases. And then the next thing to check, or last thing to check really, would be the gas rings themselves. And I'll show you the gas rings here as I pull this apart real quick. And this is really true on older guns that have had a lot of rounds through them. You can wear down your gas rings. Your key can come loose over time. Yeah, and with the gas rings, it's these three rings that are on the actual bolt itself. Now they make, uh, there's some other companies that make, you know, solid one piece rings and things like that. Those are just fine. But the gas rings, they have notches cut in them. Each ring has one notch for a total of three notches. Now, a properly fitted gas ring um, can, fun can make the AR function with just one ring. You don't even need all three mm -hmm. gas rings. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of gets into the whole myth that you need to have all the, uh, or you can't have the cuts in the gas rings lined up, which it's a myth for that exact reason. It'll function fine with just one ring. But anyways, yeah, so these rings will wear out over time and they do need to be replaced. And the way to check and see if they do need to be replaced or if they're worn, I'll get this thrown back together and show you here. One of the easy methods. Throw that back together real quick. And I'll leave the uh, frying pin retaining pin out here just to show you real quick. But once this is assembled here, you just take the bolt carrier group, stand it up like so, and it should not collapse under its own weight. If it does collapse under its own weight like so, that means your gas rings are worn. The reason it's not going down is because those gas rings are putting tension or friction inside of that uh, bolt carrier group and that's your gas seal to get this system to function properly. So if it collapses under its own weight, replace the gas rings, more than likely it'll solve your issue. Yeah, and that means you've had a lot of rounds through that gun normally. Oh yeah, yep, a absolutely. Uh, another thing, you know, wear and tear wise, if your gas tube wasn't aligned properly at the get-go when you built the gun or when somebody built the gun and it rubs on that carrier key each time the carrier comes forward, it'll rub off a part of the, a portion of that round nozzle on the end and pretty soon you'll get blow-by on the other side. You know, if it's just slightly off-center, it's all it takes. Over time, it'll erode yep. and you will get blow-by there too and you'll be leaking gas. So, and it's very subtle, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to spot. So yeah, if you're having any you know, undergassing issues, check all of that and that should take care of it for you. That's really pretty much the entire system there. So if you would like to add anything or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below. If you're having issues, you tried this, it still didn't work, you still have any issues, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. 
we'll be happy to help you out. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.